Hi, I'm Mark from Productive Computing. In this video, we're going to take a look at a FileMaker app we created that enables you to have a user interface for FileMaker's data migration tool. Stay tuned. You can get this tool at no charge to you by going to Productive Computing University and enrolling in the course. You can find the link below in the description. So in this video, we're going to talk first about the background of this situation and exactly why you would need these tools. Then we'll talk specifically as to what is the data migration tool exactly. We'll talk a little bit about why it was created. Then we'll move on to how that tool works today, the one released from FileMaker. And then we'll briefly touch upon the overview of the FM Data Migration Assistant, which is a tool add-on that we use as a FileMaker file that gives a user interface to the migration tool from FileMaker. So first, some background. The situation presents itself in a couple of different ways. Ideally, in a perfect world, you'll have a production environment and a development environment. And what that means is the production environment is where all the users are entering data and you have a live FileMaker system run from FileMaker server being properly backed up and protected. Then you'll make a copy of that system on a separate server, perhaps even in a separate environment altogether, specifically for development purposes where you can begin to create new schema, test new functionality, add modules, make modifications, and so forth in a protected developer environment. So the situation comes into play where at some point you'll need to go live with this data and you'll need to create some form of a migration routine bringing the data from production into the newer schema in development. Another situation that may present itself is when you want to revert to a backup. Let's take for example that somehow schema was accidentally altered, modified, or corrupted in some way on the production environment. You may want to revert to a backup and make a copy of the backup schema and then import the live production data. In a sense, the same as the first thing I talked about, but in this case, it would be for backup purposes. So why was this tool created and how does it help? So traditionally, when you import data from one FileMaker file to another, if there's lots of records or many tables, this process can take a long time, depending on how much data you have. And not only does it take a long time where the developer has to wait for the data to come in in order to finish the process, but it actually promotes too much downtime for a particular customer or user group so it's not uncommon for this to take several minutes, in some cases several hours, and in even extreme cases several days or entire weekends where you would have this much downtime just because you were migrating loads and loads of records and data from one file to another. The other thing that happens is when you have quite a few tables to migrate and you're doing that import manually, it's prone for human error and mistakes. It has to be done very carefully. You have to match up the fields. You have to make sure your IDs are correct. And when this is done manually, that also adds to the time to migrate the data, causing unnecessary downtime and additional labor while the developer waits for the data to migrate over. Now you could create an automated routine to import that data via scripts. And this is done quite often today, in fact, but it does take time to build those automated routines. It takes time to test them and it takes even more effort to maintain them because any change in schema on the development copy is going to mandate that you at least review your import routine to be sure that everything is still working properly. So although it does save time for the manual process of importing, it doesn't really save any time on what it would take to maintain it and build it in the first place. It also doesn't reduce any time on moving the data itself. It still takes just as long to move the data whether you have a script that automates the routine in terms of importing versus importing manually. So here comes the migration tool from FileMaker. This tool runs on either Terminal on the Macintosh or the command line application on Windows. And the dictionary definition of this is that it migrates all record data from a source FileMaker Pro advanced file to a copy of a clone file. So you have your FileMaker application production copy, which is the live file currently in use by users. They are currently entering data. 
This is what's called the production copy with the data. Then from that, you make a dev copy, which is essentially a, a straight duplicate of the production copy. Typically, it's put on a different server. This copy includes the data, but of course, the data is now old because it's not currently in use by the live group. And from that dev copy, you would typically make a clone, which includes all the schema without any of the data. So the tool works with these files in the following way. You have your production copy, and the production copy data is then migrated to the development clone that you just made. Now you have the latest schema with the latest data, and you're ready to move forward with your solution. Then you take that dev copy and enter that into the production environment. So the tool today requires the use of the command line. The tool is available through Command Prompt on Windows, which is represented on the left side of the screen. It's also available through Terminal on the Macintosh on the right side of the screen. The tool has the same feature set on either platform, and it comes with a wide variety of commands that you can use, giving you some nice choices. By having it available as a command line application, the developer is able to use this either in the command line or program additional automation in and around this application. The main command to make this work looks like this. FM data migration, you depict a source path, which is the production copy of the file. Then you depict a clone path, which is the clone you made of the latest schema from the dev file, for example. And then you can specify any other options. Here's some additional commands available through the tool. You can specify the full access admin account and password along with the decryption key. And you can choose some other nice options around value lists and fonts. And you can choose between verbose mode and quiet mode on the results during the process. Here at Productive Computing, we've created a tool called FM Data Migration Assistant. And this tool is in fact a FileMaker application. It's a single file. So you can either drag and drop the source file and the clone file directly into the tool, or you could right click and insert the files that way. You can also have multiple files, so we support multiple files with the tool. In addition, you can embed the credentials for the files as well as the encryption password or the decryption password as the case may be. Then we also offer all the options that you saw on the previous screen through Terminal as simple checkboxes like so. You can determine where the final file is stored. You can determine if it overwrites the destination file. You can choose to use the clones file value lists or use the clones accounts and encryption. Ignore font mapping. Perhaps one of the best parts of this is that the file is completely unlocked, allowing the developer to get under the hood and change anything that they'd like, whether it be the layout or the schema, or they could take this tool and attach it to a bigger automation process and make your own routines. You can get this tool at no charge to you by going to Productive Computing University and enrolling in the course. You can find the link below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, liking our Facebook page, or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn. We also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.